In the last lecture, I explained the stabilization and introduced three types of stability factors. In this lecture, I will explain the three steps involved in the calculation of stability factors. And stability factors are different for different biasing schemes. And first, we will find out stability factors for fixed bias configuration. You can see the circuit of fixed bias configuration. And the step number one, the step number one is the application of Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop. We will apply KVL in the input loop and try to obtain and try to obtain the base current IB. So we have VCC minus VCC minus IB RB drop across this resistance. Then we have minus VBE minus VBE equal to zero. And from this equation, the base current IB is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by resistance RB. This is the step number one. And in step number two, in step number two, we will calculate the collector current IC by using the equation beta IB plus beta plus one ICBO. We will use this equation to calculate the collector current IC and let's say this equation is equation number one and the collector current IC is equal to beta VCC minus VBE divided by RB. This is the value of base current IB plus beta plus one times ICBO and let's say this is the equation number two. In step number three, the final step, we will differentiate the second equation with respect to IC. So in step number three, in step number three, we will differentiate, differentiate equation two with respect to IC. And as we are calculating, as we are calculating the stability factor S, which is equal to DIC by DICBO, at constant at constant VBE and beta we need to differentiate equation 2 with respect to IC at constant at constant input voltage VBE and the amplification factor beta so this is what we have to do in step number 3 and this is the most important step and let's see what we have after the differentiation we will differentiate both sides of the equation number two with respect to IC keeping VBE and beta constant according to this condition VBE and beta are constant and you can see VCC and RB the base resistance are already constant VCC and RB are already constant so we can easily differentiate the equation two with respect to IC on the left hand side we have DIC by DIC on the right hand side we have beta by RB as constant and differentiation of VCC minus VBE with respect to IC the second term will have beta plus 1 as constant and differentiation of reverse saturation current ICBO with respect to IC. DIC by DIC is equal to 1 and the differentiation of VCC with respect to IC is equal to 0. So we have beta by RB inside the bracket 0 minus 0 because VBE is also constant plus beta plus 1 and DICBO by DIC is nothing but 1 by S from here you can see DICBO by DIC is equal to 1 by S. So we have 1 by S and when you simplify this you will have stability factor S equal to beta plus 1. So this is the stability factor in case of fixed bias configuration and you can see small change in beta will change the stability factor and fixed bias configuration is very sensitive biasing scheme because of this reason. So fixed bias configuration is very sensitive and we will now find out the general expression of a stability factor. 
we will find general expression of a stability factor and for this purpose for this purpose I will differentiate the equation 1 this is the equation 1 in which IC let me slide the board IC is equal to beta IB plus beta plus 1 ICBO and to obtain the general expression I will differentiate this equation with respect to IC keeping VBE and beta constant I am using this equation because this equation is true for all the biasing schemes so let's differentiate it we have 1 on the left hand side then we have beta DIB divided by DIC integration of base current with respect to the collector current plus beta plus 1 is constant and we have DICBO DICBO by DIC DICBO by DIC is equal to 1 by S so we have 1 equal to beta DIB by DIC plus beta plus 1 by S when you simplify this you will have stability factor S equal to beta plus 1 beta plus 1 this is the numerator divided by divided by 1 minus beta DIB by DIC this is the denominator so this is the generalized form of the stability factor and we can use this to calculate the stability factor of any biasing scheme in this case we have fixed bias configuration and in case of fixed bias configuration you can see the base current the base current is independent of the collector current IC so DIB by DIC is equal to 0 so the stability factor is equal to beta plus 1 by 1 minus 0 which is equal to beta plus 1 the same result we have obtained by the differentiation of equation number 2 so we can use this equation to calculate the stability factor of any biasing scheme and if you remember the last presentation we had three stability factors first one was S second one was S prime and the third one was S double prime S was equal to a small change in collector current with respect to the reverse saturation current at constant input voltage and amplification factor S prime was equal to change in collector current with respect to the input voltage at constant ICBO and beta and S prime is equal to a small change in the collector current with respect to beta at constant value of ICBO and VBE these are the three stability factors and the first one is the most important one and generally you have to deal with this stability factor only in this lecture I will calculate S prime but calculation of S double prime is complex and it is not important in this course so we will calculate S prime and it is very easy we have to repeat this step number three we will differentiate the equation number two with respect to IC keeping in mind ICBO is constant and beta is constant and VBE is now variable so we have 1 equal to beta by RB differentiation of differentiation of VCC with respect to the collector current minus differentiation of VBE with respect to the collector current plus beta plus 1 is constant and we have differentiation of ICBO the reverse saturation current with respect to the collector current and as I have already told you ICBO and beta are constant DICBO by DIC is equal to 0 the differentiation of constant term is equal to 0 so we have 1 equal to beta by RB differentiation of VCC the biasing voltage with respect to IC is also equal to 0 because VCC is constant minus 1 by S prime because DVBE by DIC is equal to 1 by S prime so finally we have S prime equal to minus beta by RB 
so this is how we calculate s prime in the next lecture we will calculate the stability factors for fixed bias configuration and if there is any doubt in this lecture you may ask in the comment section